Small Tailor by Debbie here. I'm going to show you how you can take something that you bought for an after season sale, like this truck that I got at Hobby Lobby a couple years ago, and it was 90% off after their um, Christmas season had ended. And I'm going to show you how you can take this and transform it into another season. So what we're going to do first, we're going to turn it over. I'm not going to use it to hang by a rope. I'm going to use this for a wreath sign. So I'm just going to take off this rope and it doesn't matter that that's on there. We can try to pull it out, but it honestly does not matter guys. Okay. Then these trees right here, all you're going to do is take your little pliers and just pull them out. See how easy they come out guys. You just take the pliers, and just turn it until it pops out like that. Now this little tree, we're just gonna take it and you can save these little embellishments that you're taking off because y'all Christmas will be here before we know it. See how easily those come out? Okay. And we're just gonna try to grab a hold of the base of this and pull it out the best we can. And if it won't come off, you can get your wire cutters and just kind of cut that off right there at the base. It's like a glob of glue or something holding it in there. You might need the smaller ones. My little wire snips. There we go. Just get up under there. Kind of cut that off and pull it out. There we go. Any little globs of glue that are left, you can just do the same thing. Take some little wire snips and just kind of cut them off. Cut that rope down a little bit shorter right here on the ends. There we go. Okay, I'm going to get rid of all this residue here. Pick, take these little pieces that I want to keep for another craft and I'm going to put them up. And then everything else I'm just going to scrape off into the trash here. Okay. Very good. Alright, now I'm going to get this truck and we are going to use, I believe, the Caribbean. And y'all, this is um, apple barrel paint. Okay, so we're going to use this Caribbean apple barrel acrylic paint. And we're going to paint this truck. Let's see, I need to find a smaller brush. This one right here. Just kind of a straight brush where you can kind of get up in to these little areas there. Okay, and I'm just going to scorch some of this out here on my parchment paper. It's probably going to take several coats of this, y'all. But we're just going to cover over the red and the black. Not even going to sand it, y'all. We're just going to paint over it. Turquoise is a big color this year. People have been loving the things that I do that have turquoise in it. So that's why I decided I wanted to change this truck up and paint it turquoise. And I'm gonna leave the wood parts of the truck, that wood color, because I think it's gonna go well with this turquoise color. So y'all, when you're in the stores, looking at stuff think about what you can transform it into like at the <clears throat> excuse me y'all end of the season don't look at it you know as oh that's christmas i'm not going to be able to use that till christmas next year well think about it when you're looking at it is there some way you could transform it and turn it into either an everyday item or a seasonal item for another holiday you know that's coming up I do that all the time. 
Okay, so we're just gonna paint. I'll speed up the video and then I'll dry it and I'll come back after our first coat is dry and show you what we've got so far, okay? Okay, y'all, so as you can see, that's what it looks like after our first coat. I'm gonna go ahead and add a second coat and I'll speed up the video and show you what it looks like when we come back. So that's what it looks like after two coats. We're getting there. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put on a third coat. One more coat is going to get us where we want to be. So we're going to put one more coat. I'll speed up the video and I'll come right back. Now y'all, that does look cute just the way it is. If you like it like that, you can just stop. But I'm going to add just a little bit more to it. I'm going to get my Waverly Antique Wax. And we're going to antique it just a little bit. I like to take a brush that has soft bristles. We're going to work out of the lid. I'm going to put some on. And then we're going to tap it off until it's almost dry. Okay. And then we're just going to take it and we're going to start by going around the edges of the truck. And just giving it a little bit of antiquing. Okay. Just gonna randomly come on the truck and brush some of this antique wax on there. If you get it too dark, you can always add a little bit more of the paint. You can always take a baby wipe and just kind of wipe it off a little bit. But I just, I like the way this is looking. See, if you get it a little too dark, you just take it and just kind of brush it off with a baby wipe. Any of these places where it was really heavy, I'm just kind of knocking that down a little bit with the baby wipe. Okay, just giving a little bit of an aged look. And then I also want to come on to the wood And I want to do a little bit of the antique wax on these running boards and on this part around the wheel well, too. Just so it doesn't look so new. It looks more aged. Okay. And like I said, y'all, you can do as much or as little of this as you want. We're even going to come down onto the 
white part of the hubcaps. Just age them a little bit. Oh, this is so pretty. I love this. Okay. We want to get all the way down to that running board. We don't want that any of this right here to not have some of the paint because that would look kind of funny. All right, then I'm just going to take my baby wipe and just knock it down a little bit. Make it a little more subtle. That's what's so great about using these products is you can kind of apply it, knock it back down, apply more until you get the finish or the look that you want. Y'all, I'm really loving that. Okay, let's see what we now have, and I'm gonna let this completely dry, and then we'll use it on a wreath in a future video, I'll, or I'll show you pictures of the wreath that I make with this. But I hope you guys give this a try, and if you try a transformation painting project like this, I'd love for you to tag me in it so I can see what you do. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you will be notified when I put out new videos. I really do appreciate you being here. Y'all have a blessed day.